Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Reviews. Today I have another beer from Bell's Brewing Company out of Comstock, Michigan. This is part of their Leaves of Grass series, um, which is based on the works of uh, Walt Whitman. Um, and as I said in the other beers I've done of in this series... I really don't know anything about uh, Leaves of Grass, so I can't comment on that. But uh, this one's called The Prairie Grass Dividing. And, the, and all the beers in this series are completely different styles. You know, it's not like it's a stout with different things in it. They're all completely different styles. Um, and this one is a uh, Goza with plums. Um, and it is 4.5 ABV. I don't think I've had a Goza from Bell, so that's interesting. Um... But uh, I just had the smoked porter in this series, and it was really, really good. So I'm hoping that this uh, this one follows suit with that. We'll see. So this pours a um, pretty cloudy, darker uh, peach to almost like a, it's like darker orange to almost a red color with a small white head. <sighs> that smells nice. Um, definitely get uh, some nice like cracked wheat character. Um, you, you for sure get the, a little bit of that, uh, like, um, sea salt, uh, like salinity. Definitely some lemon juice. And I, I do get some, like, um, some sort of, uh, like stone fruit. It almost smells like apricot, but I, obviously, I, I know it's plum, but it almost smells like apricot. It's interesting. It smells good, though. I'm kind of surprised how, how good this smells, to be honest. I just wasn't expecting that from it. That's good. Um, it's not very tart. It's actually less tart than I was expecting. Um, it for sure has a, a plum flavor. I'm not... Uh, plums are one fruit that I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, but I do get it a lot. Um, there's a little bit of like a candy sugar note um and some of that uh weedy graininess too but definitely none of that uh i know sometimes like kettle sour type things have that uh butyric acid there's none of that at all this doesn't have that like that cereal taste either the grain character is definitely very clean um And it, it does have a little bit of a saltiness, you know, tasting it again. But, I, there's not too, too much to it. And I, I, I'm just not the biggest fan of plum. Um, you know, I, I bought this knowing that I might not love it. But I always like to support Bells because they're kind of one of the breweries that got me into craft beer and I know that even though I don't love Plum they're going to do a good job of doing the beer that it should be based on what they're putting in it and that's definitely the case here um, I think this is a really good classic Goza with, without being like super tart because most of them traditional ones are not that tart
it for sure has a lot of plum flavor. Um, it's just, I don't know if I if I want a fruited goza, plum is like one of the the least or one of the last fruits that I would uh, want. So it's kind of one of those things that I, you know, I knew going in that I probably wasn't going to call this a buy. Unless it had like some crazy thing about it that I loved that was separate from it tasting like plum, but then that wouldn't really be following, you know, the description of the beer. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know there's too much more to say about it because it, it is pretty straightforward, but it, you know, for this type of beer that that's perfectly acceptable it should be it's supposed to be a nice refreshing slightly salty little bit of tart wheat beer with plum flavor and it is absolutely all of that so if you like plum this is this should be a buy for you especially this this bottle pearls like two dollars i think in the bottle shop i mean all, all bell's products are insanely cheap for their quality um for me personally, I'm just going to give this a drink. I don't think... I wouldn't buy it again, but that's just because I don't love plum-flavored stuff. Uh, but if you do, or you're kind of neutral about it, this is absolutely a buy. It's a really good exam American version of a uh, Goza. It's not just like a shitty kettle sour that they threw salt in. This is actually like very well-crafted. Um, I think the plum flavor is is prompt is very prominent, but not like overdone either. Uh, so I, to be honest, I don't know that they really could have done a better job than they did with this. It's just not my favorite thing, so I wouldn't buy it again. But I I would say for anyone who likes plum or a good American made goza, you should definitely buy this. Um, but I think that's all I got on this one. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.